Let's make a phone stand using this model. Imported into Fusion 360. And then move it upright. Click on the Rectangle tool, click on Horizontal Plane, and then draw the base. Note that I'm clicking on the grid lines. That will make finding the center of the charge cord hole easier to find. Click Stop Sketch, and bring in another copy of that model. And that's because one alone isn't wide enough to make a good phone stand. Move it over. And we need to move this base down. So click on Move. Click on that last icon and then hold the shift key down so that you can select multiple sketches. Then align the base with the feet. Select it again, click Press Pull, and extrude it down. It's set on New Body. You can see these other choices. So you'll make a solid when you extrude it down. Here I'm just evening up the sides with the feet. Now draw the phone rest. Click rectangle, click on the base, and then sketch another rectangle. Right click and press pull it up. Click on the circle, click on the center, and then set the diameter. You can eyeball or type specific numbers. Right click and press pull it through that rest and now it will extrude. We need to convert these meshes into solids so that we can combine them with the base. So choose Stop Design History and then right click on them, hold the shift key down so you can select both of them together and click Mesh to B Rep. Before I combine them, I'm going to save two versions, this version and the combined version. And that's because if I want to go back and edit this later, it's a lot easier to edit the uncombined version. Go to Modify, Combine, and then click on the items to combine. Now right click on the name, 
click on Save as STL and export it. Here I've imported it into Mesh Mixer. At Analysis Inspect, Mesh Mixer found some problems. Auto Repair All did not fix it in a way that I liked, so I imported it into Tinkercad because Tinkercad fixes meshes upon import and it often does a very good job of it. Here it fixed it and didn't change it like Mesh Mixer did. So I downloaded the Tinkercad STL of this model and then imported it into Cura. Let's print it up. Unfortunately, the connectors are not the right shape or size. The parts have round holes in them, but these connectors are a more cylindrical shape and don't fit. However, I glued the heads to the body with Loctite Super Glue, the gel type, and as you can see, it came out very nicely. So, there you have it.